I'm back in that second part of the video. The second part of the video. I want. I forgot that I, um, I needed to tell you something about sulfates. So um, I still haven't had a wash. It's only about 10 minutes later, but um, I've stripped a bit more of that paper off just to gauge what sort of area um, I'm going to take off at wall. Now, what I wanted to tell you, if you want to look up on the video, you'll see that there's a, a hole in, in chimney, uh, in a uh, stack. It's just, it's just round here. It's really difficult to see because, if I put it there, I think you can see it there, that hole in stack. And that's what's causing issues. Rainwater's driving in because pots, chimney pots on top of top of um, the stack. There's three, <coughs> excuse me. There's three um, pots and they're all open. None of them's capped off. Now, when I when I say capped off, what you can do with pots is you can get a. It's like a mushroom, and uh, it's got holes inside and it's like a mushroom up top, it's clay, and it sits in top, um, and you can seal it in, <coughs> and that'll allow air to flow in, but it'll not let rainwater go down. And the other thing is, the flaunching is what the pots are bedded on, it's what's called the flaunching, so it's like a render up top. Sometimes that can um, crack over time, and bits can be blown off, so there might be a hole in top, and we can't see that from front floor, so we always recommend that a, a roof, a competent roofer comes up uh, and has a look at it. Now, what I was gonna say was, what tends to happen in properties is the um, householders, uh, some builders, <coughs> uh, jobbing builders and stuff that um, there's, there's probably got a trade, but, it, as renovating houses and stuff that don't know much about um, damp issues, but roof is the same. They'll see this and they'll go, oh, flashing's gone. So there's houses up and down the country that's, I'll see if I can see some. So you look, if you, uh, if you can see up there. If you look up there, there's that property up there, there's a chimney stack, that with white uh, render round windows. There's a chimney stack on roof. It's a rosemary tiled roof and, uh, and there's a chimney stack on it. And there's like a gray band where a chimney goes into the roof. Well, that's called your flashing. And a lot of roofers will say, oh, um, flashing's, uh, flashing's gone. So you need a new flashing. So they'll, they'll, they'll unpick all the tiles and then they'll put a new flashing in. Um, and if you look just to the left of it, there's a chimney stack further on on house. In fact, I've done a survey at that property, you know. There's, there's a, a chimney stack further on, and if you look at their pots, they've not got um, caps on. And your caps is like a, um, it's like a mushroom type one. I think there's some down here as well. So if you can, if you can see these ones on terraced houses, but my phone don't drop. So, um, none of them are capped. So if you look on the tops, the, the, the actual pots themselves are not capped, but if you look at them two on end, second and down, you can just see the little stub, stubby bit stuck out. I don't know, you, may, you might not be able to see it. And there's, there's a really little, in the middle, there's a, a terracotta colour pot. Well, that's a capping. And that, the pots have been took off there and they've put that capping on, well, them pots will sit on top of a, a chimney pot so you can seal them in. Oh, this one is here. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Just trying to find them for you. So what, what happens is, they see this uh, and they'll go, oh, um, flashing's, flashing's leaking. So they get something to do outside um, and then they'll wait for it to dry out. So they'll wait for it to dry out. A lot of time, it shows up in winter because these salts, these sulfate salts, these things here, these white here, they're like any 
salt or sodium and they'll absorb moisture from um, from atmosphere and the more moisture there is in atmosphere more moisture they'll absorb until they reach saturation point and then what happens is you'll find that on a chimney breast you'll get these what look like damp patches but they'll be sweating so they'll have little beads of water on and that means that it's reached saturation point and it's got absolutely wet through and sulfate salts unlike um, salts from ground nitrates and chlorides these sulfate salts are what's called deliquescent as well and what deliquescent means is that once they reach saturation point them salts um, can be absorbed into uh, can sort of be absorbed into moisture and, and sort of go around roaming atmosphere so they'll, dis they'll dissolve into moisture and they can travel from wall to wall if uh, if conditions are right and that's what deliquescent mean they, they can be absorbed into atmosphere and travel around so um, so that's why we have to form a barrier system so we stop them coming through so you can either do that by chopping back to brickwork um, and then putting your barrier system on or if you if your plaster's sound what I'll, what I'll, I'll like to do now now that safeguards fetched dry flex um, dry flex that I'll put a dry flex patch over them so you put a big patch over them <coughs> and as long as it gets fixed outside it's not going to get any spread any further if your chimney is not going to be wet inside so you probably need some ventilation in your chimney as well all different issues so what we're going to get done is we're going to hack this off I think now now I've had a look at it and that's the beauty of me being on site while I'm here I can make decisions and go right this is how we're going to do this this is how we're going to do that and a lot of damp companies I think I've said it before the, it's set in stone so a surveyor goes out and they'll say we're going to bubble wrap everything like a lot of surveyors do um, so they'll put um, cavity wall uh, cavity drainage membrane on walls and, uh, and then board over it and if it's done right it'll work but there's, there's, there's easier ways of doing it and there's better methods and not every wall needs that cavity uh, drainage membrane on a majority of them that fit it don't, don't do it right I go on jobs and I see, see that it's not, it's not um, chiseled into the floor and, th and things like that so uh, I mean <sighs> There's two rules of thought on it. So you get, with, with damp proofing, you can get moisture um, forming at back. So when, um, when walls, going back to equilibrium, the moisture's still coming out at wall. And if you've got a, a damp membrane on it, it's gonna, it's gonna evaporate out, go on to back at cavity drainage membrane. And if there's a lot, it'll run down. So where's that moisture going to go? Um, so the rule of thought is you you leave a gap at bottom to allow air to flow so air can flow across it and it'll evaporate it and then take it out but the, the, they tell you to seal it at top with a, with a, a tape, a, a butadine tape onto some SBR and stick it at top so air's only going to flow across um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't, I don't like using it myself. I don't like using it. There's better methods. So I, I think I think that uh, safeguards express systems are better. Um, plaster boards are allow water vapor to travel through it as a gas and disperse. So I, I just think it's a lot better. A lot better. You've got your salt neutralizing cream in. But anyway, we're talking about, I've gone off, a, I've gone off on a tangent, tent I? so we're talking about sulfate salts, not um, rising damp. So yeah, that's going to come off and uh, I'll have a look at brickwork after, but I think I'm going to nap sem it and then, uh, then just give it to blend it in. But 
they've got like a bit of work to do here. I think all house is getting skimmed anyway, and I'll I'll sort that all out. I think I'll I'll get a brick and I'll 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 brick it in once uh, once I mix that sem up I can lay it lay it in and then that'll be sealed. Roofers have already been today. They're gonna to sort top out. And uh, job will be a good one, I think. So that's damp Sam, part two on sulfates, which are very naughty. And if you don't understand them, you'd be forever going back and back and back like these roofers do. When the when customers saying it's come back again, it's leaking again. So, oh, we've been up, and they're up and down and up and down and up and down, and uh, and it's not. It's because these sulfate salts they come and go. We um. We are, how humid the atmosphere is, that's my posh voice, how humid the atmosphere is. And that's hard to say when you're from York, well, from Barnsley. So, I'll see you on next video. Adios.